Dwight Koblen, and I'm an instructor at Kalamazoo Valley Community College HVAC program. I'd like to talk to you about vacuum pumps. As an HVAC instructor, I have been familiar with many different brands and types of tools used in the HVAC work. When it comes to vacuum pumps, my personal favorite is the Robin Air 15500. With vacuum pumps that are rated at 3, 5, and 8 CFM. Robin Air has been an industry leader in refrigerant recovery for 60 years. Here we have a 1960-some version model vacuum pump that is still boiling water today. And for right now, I'm going to take this down. We have a system set up for vacuum. Uh, I have a large vacuum hose hooked in series with uh, my micron meter, hooked to my gauge manifold, and both my high and low uh, hoses, refrigerant hoses, are hooked to the proper service valve on the air conditioner. A two-stage design removes air and moisture from the system quicker and more thoroughly with the second stage vacuum, leading to a deeper ultimate vacuum level. The heavy-duty one-third horsepower motor features a rotary vane, sealed bearing, high torque design for easy startup and efficient operation. The new cast iron aluminum reservoir design reduces weight and creates a strong, durable pump, much lighter than other 28 to 30 pounds that you'll find in the field. The multi-port brass intake valve is equipped with quarter, three-eighths, and half-inch fittings. Easily accessible oil fill and drain ports for fast and complete oil changes. The easy view oversized sight glass is key to verifying your oil is clean and the level is correct for proper pump operation. When you first place your Robin Air 15500 vacuum pump in service, you'll need to fill it with oil. Not doing so will damage the pump. Oil is very important in a vacuum pump and used for lubricants. Coolant and sealant included in the box with a bottle of Robin Air oil. Filling the pump is easy. First ensure the oil drain valve is closed, and then take the plug out of the fill port and pour in the oil. The fill port is right here on the Robin Air vacuum pump. Uh, we have here uh, a quart of Robin Air vacuum pump oil. Snip off the end of it. You want to ensure when you fill a vacuum pump that you got to monitor the sight glass. Uh, we have an oil level line here. Uh, you don't want to exceed that and you don't want to under exceed it either. So, if you go over, simply you can drain some out of the drain valve on the bottom, but make sure you're at least to the line. Uh, the pump will not be near as efficient, right, if it's underfilled. The large and easily viewable sight glass helps you determine if the oil is filled to the proper level. You can also see if the oil is contaminated and needs to be replaced. If you do fill the level too high, just open the drain valve, get the oil level, to the fill line. Use the drain valve to drain the oil from the pump. If the oil is hot, the oil will drain quicker. We recommend that you change the oil after every service. Attach a micron gauge to the pump, and if your reading is 50 microns or less, the oil is still good. Change the oil for every reading over 50 microns. Using the micron gauge is one way to tell if the oil is good. Another nice feature of the 1550 is the intake port fitting. The multi-dimensional fitting that has quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch allow you to connect to any type of manifold without having to dig through your toolbox. The Robin Air 15500 comes with an exhaust plug which keeps the oil in the system during transport. It also caps the pump and seals the system to ensure moisture won't get into your oil, especially during those hot, humid days. Integrated into the inner working part, the check valve which is to ensure the vacuum is maintained in a long draw vacuum. Perhaps you are running the pump overnight, and I'm sure we've all been there, and power is interrupted. The integral ball valve, check valve, prevents the oil from backing up into your system. The motor, see it's a third horsepower motor, tested for quality and durability to ensure it will start every time in hot and cold weather. So that was my take on vacuum pumps, and several reasons why I feel that Robin Air 15, vacuum pump is the best pump for the job when you're doing HVAC service work.